The United States' unclear crypto policies have led businesses like Ripple to explore investing outside the nation. Brad Garlinghouse has claimed, the Ripple CEO advised the U.S. to follow the U.K. and Singapore. How do you think this will affect the cryptocurrency and the U.S. economy? We will answer these questions in today's video. Experts in the cryptocurrency community have been debating recent business developments, particularly the sex move to prosecute the world's two largest cryptocurrency exchanges, Binance and Coinbase. In case you missed it, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Binance and Coinbase in less than 24 hours, charging that both exchanges aided the trade of crypto assets branded as securities, therefore violating federal securities law. The action has prompted discussion among cryptocurrency fans. Top cryptocurrency specialists claim in a series of tweets that the regulator's crackdown is tied to the commission's investigation against California. Based software startup Ripple, Yasin Mobarak, founder of Dizer Capital, believes the sex's campaign on the two biggest cryptocurrency exchanges demonstrates that the agency is afraid of losing the Ripple litigation. He warned that the sex's failure in the Ripple case might result in a precedent, setting verdict against the agency. The litigation against Binance and Coinbase, according to Mubarak, is the sex approach of speeding its major effort to isolate its likely defeat against Ripple. As a result, the sexy might claim that its defeat against Ripple was restricted to the facts surrounding the XARP case and not relevant to the broader sector. Interestingly, popular cryptocurrency writer Zach Rector suggested that the sex is close to reaching an agreement with Ripple. Rector did not provide any other information on the proposed settlement. His statement, however, comes only an hour after the sec formally sued Coinbase. Furthermore, another crypto proponent using the alias Baba said that the SEC's recent crackdown on exchanges indicates that the Ripple litigation has been settled. The crypto enthusiast pointed out that the SEC would not have pursued its complaint against Binance and Coinbase if its case against Ripple was still ongoing. Ashley Prosper, an XRP community member, said in response to the current developments that the SEC's decision to pursue Binance and Coinbase does not imply that Ripple lost its summary judgment. He emphasized that regardless of what transpired in the Ripple action, the regulator would have still sued the exchanges. Furthermore, Prosper said that if Judge Annalisa Torres had previously given a summary judgment judgment in favor of the C, the commission would have used a portion of the order in its lawsuits against Binance and Coinbase. The Ripple case, in my opinion, is over, and the sex now needs to go full steam ahead to get Gary Gensler a clear win before 2024. I believe the winner will be Binance and Coinbase will be fined. Prosper continued, It's worth remembering that Judge Torres has yet to rule on the Ripple lawsuit's summary judgment. The decision is anticipated at any time. Some XRP supporters think the parties will likely settle before Judge Torres delivers a decision. Ali Martinez, a cryptocurrency expert, highlights the increased XRP network activity as a positive indicator for the cryptocurrency's price trajectory. Martinez's findings, based on sentiment data, show a significant spike in the creation of new addresses on the XR pipe chain, a traditional indicator of impending price increases. This new oddity in address formation has piqued people's curiosity in recent days. <laughs> Today, a leading cryptocurrency news portal first reported on this strange behavior in late May, citing Santiment's finding. The address creation surges have been significant, ranking second and third in the history of XRP address activity monitoring. XRP's value has increased by 11 in the previous week alone. However, it is currently facing severe selling resistance at the critical $0.54 cents level. Overcoming this obstacle is critical to achieving the next target of $0.06. Cents. Whether the price will truly rise, as Martinez predicts, remains to be seen. Exurp, famed for its ability to defy market trends, has caught the curiosity of traders and investors once again. While some see this as a positive indication, others remember the token's turbulent history and remain suspicious. The important issue is whether this significant increase in the XRP network will translate into a significant price surge or whether it is just another false beacon of hope. Concurrently, the imminent publication of Sex's William Hinman's emails has sparked interest in the XRP community. 
In preparation, The Sex has prominently deleted portions of Hyman's biography from its website. This has fueled conjecture among Exerper supporters that The Sex is planning to distance itself from Hyman ahead of the email's publication. The aforementioned communications are crucial in the current sex EVs. Ripple litigation. Following the sex's complaint against Ripple for breaches of us securities laws, Ripple sought access to drafts of Hyman's 2018 speech in order to improve its fair notice argument. Hyman defined Bitcoin and Ethereum as non-securities in his remarks, but he did not explain the legal position of Exerp. Despite the sex's efforts to conceal these papers, a judgment issued last month denied their application. The unredacted emails, as well as other summary judgment evidence, will be made public on June 13, 2020. As the long-running dispute comes to a finish, pro-excerpt lawyer John Deaton believes the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has a less than three chance of winning outright. The creator of CryptoLaw has been a strong supporter of Ripple against the SEC, which launched a complaint against the business in December 2020, stating that the sale of its excerpt was fraudulent. In a June 3 episode of the Good Morning Crypto podcast, Deaton predicted that presiding U.S. District Judge Torres will rule in Ripple's favor outright, with a 25 probability that Ripple would win via a split in the baby judgment. This alludes to Judge Torres possibly drawing a line in the sand, in which she might find that XARP was sold as an unregistered security prior to 2018. However, in the aftermath of the Hinman Papers, which pertain to internal SEC correspondence connected to a 2018 lecture delivered by former SEC director William Heinemann. Cryptocurrencies may be able to move from securities to commodities once sufficiently decentralized. I believe that XRP will be deemed not to be a security and that secondary market sales will demonstrate comment. Even if a judge tourist rules that Ripple broke the law, it does not extend to secondary market transactions, according to Dayton. While Ripple officials, including CEO Brad Garlinghouse, have long predicted an end to the sex's roller coaster case, Deaton said that Judge Torres would most likely make a definitive ruling by September 30 of this year. Deaton drew attention to a six month list that district judges must submit to Congress. The list includes any summary judgments that have been pending for more than six months. It is released at the end of March and the end of September. Deaton also predicted the price of Ripple's native excerpt coin in the event of a favorable decision. Deaton told Cointelegraph on May 22 that the Ripple community should keep a watch on June 13, when investors will find out whether XRP was discussed between sex staff prior to the Heinemann speech. The Heinemann documents will very certainly be unsealed on this day, which might have a significant influence on the case. There are also reports that Ripple may file for an IPO as a public business when the dispute is resolved. According to Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett's June 2 tweet, Ripple held a roadshow where it visited with underwriters and other investors to gauge interest in a prospective public offering.